Hey guys, Captain Frosty here, and today I'm doing something different on my channel. I'm doing a mod installation. So, X out of that. And, yeah, so, um, today we're gonna be installing too many items. It's a basic mod, but, uh, I'll just delete it. And, um, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do, before you do click on any links or download, or you can download the links first, and you're gonna wanna open Minecraft, and, uh, wait for that to open. Hit Options, Force Update, Done. And that'll just, uh, do all of your Minecraft stuff, make it all nice and fancy and easy, and uh, van it'll be like vanilla Minecraft right out of the box. So then you can just exit out of that, you don't have to do anything in there. And what you're going to want to do is go to the first link in the description, which is 7-Zip. And you can also use WinRAR or WinZip or any other unzipping and archive, uh, what's it called programming software yeah yeah that so um i prefer to use 7zip it's free and so i i'm just going to use that and so you're just going to want to download the exe and it'll take you to this you just have to wait a few seconds so you can look at these ads or whatever click on it give 7zip some money save that file and i'll just clear this because i had it but i uh, whatever it'll download it and all that so then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go to uh, too many items and you're gonna download this and this is also a link in the description I just uploaded but um let's see this should be downloading there we there we go so you want to click save file and that'll save it and open containing folder and it should be in your downloads so this I already had it in here because I just installed the mod but I'm doing this, my second video because the frame rate, rate was too low so um, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drag that to your desktop to make it a lot easier or you don't have to but whatever so I also have a mod folder mods where is it, where is it? Uh, somewhere here I don't know MC mods, there it is. So I'm um, not that organized on my desktop. I have to fix that, but whatever. So um, then, what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to right. You're gonna want to right click, and go to Seven Zip, X, uh, open archive. Sorry. Um, if you have WinRAR, I believe you double click and it will just open it. So um, do that, and you'll get all these class files and stuff. Don't worry about that right now. You can mine this out. I'm just going to leave it open. So you're going to want to hit start. And you're going to type in percent app data percent. Uh, if you have Windows 7. And that will take you to your roaming folder. And you can click dot Minecraft. And you'll have all of the stuff that you use to mod here. And again, you, pro you will not have these two files. But since I just installed the mod, it has them. So... Then what you're if you have Windows XP, however, you're going to hit con you're gonna have to hit Control R or no, sorry, the Start Key button R, and that'll take you to Run, and you're gonna type in C Users Your Name. My name is Grant. If you did not know that, so uh, Your Name, and then you're gonna do App Data Roaming. So uh, once you do that. I'm just going to fix my name there, if I ever want to do that, just hit OK, and it'll take you to the same exact folder, it's just a lot e it's e a lot easier than clicking on all of the things on Wix, wi what, control Z, there we go, so I don't know what I just did, so then you're going to want to go to your bin, you're going to click on Minecraft, ex the ex executable jar, jar file, then you're going to right click, 7-zip, open archive and again if you have um, any other software I think you double click I am not 100% sure because I only use 7-zip so then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go over to your minecraft.jar and you delete meta inf I highly stress this I don't know how much more I can stress this if you do not delete meta.inf it'll crash minecraft and you'll have to reinstall so then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna click on too many items. If you're still clicked here, it won't work. So don't hit Control A over here. Hit Control A on too many items, and then it'll highlight all of the class files. And it's super simple to do. From here, you just drag it into there, 
and it's really simple, not that hard. Um, and it will just give you all the class files, and then you can just exit out of both of these. Clo uh, minus your Minecraft.jar if you're going to be installing other mods, and then you can just click on Minecraft. And I am going to be sorry if it is a little bit laggy, because I am not using my gaming recorder. I am using a recorder that just records your screen, because Fraps does not record, it only records games. So then you're going to go to single player, and I have a new world right here, so I'm just going to open up that. And what this sh as soon as this loads, I will be right back. Hey guys, I'm back, and uh, we're in here in the Minecraft world. I'm recording with Fraps now. And so um, now you should be able to hit E, and you will have um, this interface with some stuff. And if you hit O, then it just disables it, so that's uh, pretty sweet. And here's my new skin. Um, I'm Frosty Steve. Uh, have snow on my head. So, anyways, um, uh, let's see. What was it? Oh yeah, so uh, you can spawn in items. I, if you want to like do this for a test world uh, or something like that, it's really useful because you have like other stuff like you have you have monster spawners and all that. So I can spawn zo zombie pigmen, and uh, you can also switch to creative adventure mode. So if you're making an adventure map, this is really good. So uh, yeah, and um. Uh, basically, that's what this is for. This mod's for, and if you you can, let's see, let's spawn in. Uh, you can spawn in a bunch of like stuff, but I I don't I don't recommend doing that because it kind of like just takes the fun out of the game and just ruins it. It's like it's cheating basically, and I really like cheating, so I don't use this only that time. Oh my gosh, why did? Of course, you can also turn rain off, so I might actually just install this mod just so I can do that. But, um, anyways, so, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and, um, I check out my channel for more Minecraft stuff. I'm hoping to expand it, so if you're, uh, Black Ops or some sort of any first person shooter gaming channel, message me, Skype me. I'd, I'm interested in talking to you. So, um, yeah, guys, I will see you next time.